everybody, it's David from Red Wagon Dioramas, and I am coming to you from my basement two days after ChrisCon. Uh, this is August 1st, 2023. What a great show. Uh, hopefully you've seen some of the coverage on Instagram and YouTube and other channels about our show. But if you haven't, uh, real quick, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the show, and I'm going to show you what I picked up at the show, my haul, basically. Most importantly, this video is to let you know that we're going to do a live stream this coming Saturday night with the Chris Khan planning team. So Chris, myself, Jeremy, uh, Bruno, Dan, Kenny, and Jason, hopefully we'll get as many of us on as we can. So Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube, on this channel, on my Red Wagon Dioramas channel. And if you guys haven't heard about Chris Khan, Google it, check it out. There's a lot of coverage, mostly on Instagram, some on Facebook. But it's basically an action figure focused convention. It's small. It's pretty intimate. It's put on by Chris and about six or seven of us friends and some of his family members basically do the whole show. So it's his only our second year in kind of a more public venue beyond his driveway. We had it in the hotel ballroom. We had a couple hundred people come. I don't we have a, we don't have an official count yet. But it was a huge success. It was busier than last year. Just positive, lots of energy, lots of people talking the whole time. It's a five hour long show and it just, it just went nonstop. It was great. Never really died down. There were a ton of prizes given away, a lot of, lot of, a lot of giveaways, a lot of figures that were won. Uh, Steve Evans was there from, from Hasbro. He uh, did an awesome, you know, charity raffle, raffled off a of Galactus, uh, gave away a, a tour of Hasbro. We had a diorama contest. We had a custom figure contest. The competition was tough. There were some amazing custom figures in that contest. Duarte Studios from New Jersey, right? He won both of those amazing artists, amazing talent. And then we had a toy photography contest that Chris organized. We had all the, the toy photography setups as far as you know, dioramas across the room so you could bring your own figures and pose them and take pictures. Chris did lots of games, trivia from the stage. Dan Larson was there from Secret Galaxy, Toy Galaxy. He participated in the game, you know, what's in the box where you have to identify the action figure just by using your hands and, and not. And he got every one of them right. It was great. That was a fun part of the show. So thanks, Dan, for being part of it. Thanks to Steve Evans again for his support. So many people showed up. It was just an awesome time. You know, highlights of the show for me were you know, obviously displaying my Star Wars Black Series dioramas, showing those to everyone again. As an artist, it just feels great to, you know, kind of put your work on display like that. I'm sure those of you guys who entered the diorama contest or the custom contest, you know, you know exactly what I mean. Also, my family was able to join me there at the show for, you know, several hours of it, my wife and kids, and they all entered the customs contest too, which was, which was pretty cool. So yeah, leave, leave comments below if you have questions for Chris, for myself, for anybody else on the team, anything about Chris Khan, the show, we'll talk about this Saturday night. So I hope you all can join us. Now, let me get into what I picked up at Chris Khan. I'm just going to move kind of fast for these because I don't want this to be a long video. Some of these I haven't opened yet, and I'm going to open them on the stream on Saturday. First of all, the first thing I picked up was Warpath Eclipse from the Valiverse booth. Thank you, Bobby and Mike and the guys. Uh, I've had my eye on this since it was revealed. I'm not a big Action Force collector, but I know, um, well, I know that this one is tough to get. And so they had a few at the show, at the beginning of the show. And um, I just really love that head sculpt, man. It just looks cool. So I'm looking forward to opening this up and uh, posing her around and just uh, seeing what she's like as a figure. So there's my Valiverse pickup. I also got to see the new vehicle that you know Bobby debuted with the new paint job, uh, the prototype. And I got to see the ghillie suit guy, the green one. So thanks, Bobby. I was appreciated you showing me that. Secondly, Mythic Legions. I did pick up, well, I didn't pick up. Uh, my 12-year-old son got Thigar here, right? Is it Thigar? Last year, we did pick up one. I think we got the Goblin King last year at the show. And so this year, it's like, we're going to get a Cosmic. So we picked up the main Cosmic Hero here. And he is really cool. My son has been playing with him for the last two days and says he loves them. And he's like, maybe I'm going to start collecting Cosmic Legions, Dad. If these are the first ones I can get in, you know, right at the ground level. Anyway, thanks to Jeremy Gerard and team uh, for being at the show. And I really, one of my favorite moments, Jeremy, was when you just like started rattling off all of the storylines for the different characters. Because I had no clue. He had no clue. And we're just like, hey, what's the difference between the green guy and the blue guy? And you just had all the mythology and the history and everything right there to the, yeah, the tip of your tongue. So that was really fun. Very cool figure. Beautiful paint job. Beautiful sculpt. My littlest son, he had his eye on a loose figure on one of the tables. And he picked up this lizard figure from, I guess this is from the one of the 
Spider-Man show that was on MTV for a while. I don't remember. I do remember that show, but I don't remember this version of Lizard, but it is pretty cool. It's got the jaw articulation and he's just big and mean looking and the paint is nice and vibrant. Not totally, you know, as poseable as Marvel Legends. You know, his knees don't have joints, but my son loved him and I think it's a pretty cool figure. With that Lizard, the same table, I was able to get the seller to sell me two 3.75 inch Star Wars figures loose. So for five bucks each, I picked up these two guys, Zeb and Sabine, and you know why I picked them up, right? In case it doesn't make the 17, you know, okay, this is my backup plan. Also, shout out to my friend Bruno, who's on the Chris Con team. He was uh, getting rid of some of his old loose figures, and uh, he gave me, just flat out gave me this Scout Trooper and this Wicket. I don't even know what line these are from originally, but uh, they're ones I didn't have. They're two of my favorite characters. Thanks, Bruno. Appreciate these. Also got the Black Chrysanthemum, uh, TVC figure the exclusive from SDCC. Cubicle Collector Dan, he ordered this for me from Hasbro Pulse when the uh, he got one of the coupon codes from a friend, I guess. So dropped this off to me and I just realized I haven't paid him for it yet. So uh, thanks for the free figure, Dan. Appreciate it. I'll probably open this guy up on the stream this weekend. Looks like an awesome figure. Let's see, next I picked up a bunch of 3D printed guns. Look, I got a whole handful of all kinds of rifles and pistols and everything. These are all 3D printed and sold by Danny LeBlanc, uh, LeBlanc Armory. You find him on Instagram. I put two of his weapons in the hands of this Crimson Guard here so you can see. So all his all his stuff is scaled and intended for G.I. Joe Classified and Valiverse, those figures. They're all flat, you know, black as far as the, the, the prints. Really good quality, a lot of detail, nice and rigid. Didn't feel like it was fragile, like it was gonna break when I was putting them in his hands. If you're looking for some third-party weapons, ch check out Danny's page on Instagram and send him a message. I think he's got an Etsy store too. I also met Chris uh, Bordega, the artist there at the show who had all the paintings of the vintage toys. And my wife asked me, you know, which she said she wanted to get one of these for me. So I picked up the X-Wing, which is just one of my favorite childhood toys. It's actually Chris's son's hand in the in the painting holding the toy. So I don't know, just pretty cool little nostalgic piece. And I, I really want to support, you know, Chris as an artist. So to go check out his page, uh, he's got some amazing, amazing uh, artwork if you're into vintage toys. Honestly, I was so busy at the show, I didn't even get to look at all the tables because I was just going around talking to everybody. At the end of the show, everybody was starting to break down. I was like, oh crap, I wanted to go look. Like I wanted to go check out uh, Lone Wolf, your your table and stuff. So I got you right at the end of the show. He was nice enough kind of discount, you know, these 3D prints of this, uh, you know, Imperial officer's table with the Death Star hologram here. And so I got picked up a table from him and I picked up a cantina bar. So those were just 3D prints I never had, had never gotten and I've kind of had my eye on for a while. So. Appreciate that, man, uh, adding those to my collection. I got this from Jared, Sir Dork. So I guess Jared got this from uh, Luke at some point to do some photos. And, you know, if you, you probably know Sir Dork, amazing toy photographer, awesome stuff. But anyway, so he was, uh, he just didn't have room for it anymore. So he was selling it at the show. So I picked it up from him at the end of the show, gave me a great deal on it. And I hope to turn this into a Black Series diorama piece uh, at some point in the future. Also from Jared, design printed by Lance Peter Luke. Uh, is this cave diorama that he has, which is kind of versatile. I mean, you could do a lot of different uh, figure setups with this, just a kind of a rocky brown cave. And I got both halves of this with a couple columns and a couple rocks. So again, take them off Jared's hands and I will put them to use. Uh, appreciate it, man. I think that's it for pickups. There were some other things I had my eye on, but you know, the show was just so busy and uh, I just kept talking and talking and talking to everybody. That's okay. I didn't need to spend money. It was, I was really there for the community connections to meet everybody and just to hang out. So again, if you watched this far, thanks a lot. And I hope you can join us on the live stream as you get to talk with me and Chris and, and everybody else on the Chris Con crew this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll stream for, you know, about an hour and a half to two hours or so Saturday night. So join us there on YouTube on my channel here. If you can't join the stream, but you want you have a question you want to ask us, you want to answer it or just comment about the show, uh, leave those comments below here on this video and we will address them uh, come Saturday night. All right, we'll see you then. Until next time, bye.